Hi everyone, welcome to the Hands Up for Trad afternoon show. Today is a big day. This is the first time since lockdown that our garden ref- refuse bins have been picked up. I've now got an empty green bin to fill. How exciting. The slugs will have a new home. Anything exciting happening to our viewers today? Now remember and share the show with your friends and tell us where you're watching from. We are joined by legends of Scottish music today, Shugal Nifty and the Poozies. Hi guys, how's it going? (laughs) Thanks for your commentary there. I think that was Ailey as we were getting started. (laughs) I don't think so. (laughs) <laughs> so is the sun shining all round Scotland? Because we are all round Scotland today. What's it like in Arisay, Gailey? Absolutely amazing. As always? As always, yeah. Well, to be honest, we had a couple of spots of rain yesterday, but that was the first time this year, so nobody minded, really. <laughs> Good for the tatties. <laughs> Great. Well, first, before we get chatting to folk, first up, we have the Cayley Makers and Faith Royce have joined together to bring a series of short films uh, performed by Ewan McVicker. The songs are aimed at primary school pupils, although we think some adults and younger children will enjoy singing along to these two. Here is Ewan showing us how to get a tune out of a pen. I want to show you how to kind of play a tune on a pen or a pencil. You see, it's not the whole tune, but it's surprisingly close when just getting going. Let's try another tune and on a pencil. Our tunes, what, what, don't get out the way for whistling Rufus. He'll be coming here soon. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm tapping my bottom teeth. Kind of show you how I'm holding it, kind of, just a little bit. Not so it's kind of bouncing a wee bit, kind of loose, kind of tight. Like that. Here we go. Ha! Great, you and that is fantastic. Well, it's brilliant to be joined by the legendary Shugal Nifty today. Please welcome drummer James McIntosh, bass player oh, yeah. Queen MacArthur, Mandolin and banjo player Ewan McPherson and fiddler Ailey Shaw. Great to see you guys. Hello. Hello. So, James, Acid Croft Volume 9, the new album. Tell us about it. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Um, (laughs) We're in the middle of crowdfunding it. Um, We recorded it up in um, Watercolour in September, October, November. December. (laughs) December. Three months. December. It was a three-month record. <laughs> uh, you know, time, time's an abstract con- construct now under lockdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we, we spent ages preparing for it throughout the year with loads of great sessions up at Queen's Shed, which you can yeah, see. you can see behind, behind me. Queen, yeah. And uh, up at Ailey's, uh, up in the Arisaig Hall there. Not that it's Ailey's Hall. Might as well be, though. Um, <laughs> and we had sessions down here. So then we toured it in New Zealand, and we spent about 10 days in watercolour um, with Spad and uh, Andy, and we recorded a, a great album, I think. So we're really excited about it. And we, we, we kind of debated the title for a couple of weeks, then got fed up debating and had a vote, and that's the title. That is another pun on the, the old Acid Croft I mean, it's got a great cover as well. Quee, can you tell us about the cover? Because we can see that on screen. Um, well, the cover is by a kind of artist, and um, 
who is a good friend of Kayla's sister. Uh, In fact, there's another work by her. There's name. another work just there. And um, just some, uh, you know, nice imagery there. I think I think that the, that image really spoke to us because it had a salmon in it. And, uh, I thought it was a mackerel. Is it not? I thought it was a salmon. <laughs> it's, it's, it's called The Gift of, of Abundance, that picture. Uh -huh. and it's by Ash, Ashley Cook, is That's, the name of the artist. Yes, Jane Ann so, has uh, just we, told us that on the comments, actually. <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, ah, well, we got in there before her. <laughs> but, uh, she, she's really amazing. Uh, this one here, was, uh, Jane, I don't know, where did, who, who found that image? Uh, well, I suggested Ashley Cook. Oh, right, I'd okay. seen her prints, and uh, I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know uh, that we had a con any kind of connection. But uh, I saw her prints in Glasgow. I thought they were really good. Yeah, and, uh, here's here's another one. This is oh. called Scotland as a Queen. Mm. We've actually been told oh. in a comment that it's clearly a trout. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> It. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, so so we have four of you guys today. Can, who are the other band members? Qui? Anybody? Uh, 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 there's, uh, there's is this a quiz? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's slightly more difficult than that. <laughs> there's uh, Gary Finlayson, of course. Um, Malcolm Crosby on guitar. Gary plays a banjo. Um, and. Uh, I think we've got everyone else here. Kayla. And Kayla Rowan. Kayla, Kayla Rowan. <laughs> Kayla Rowan. <laughs> On vocals and percussion. Kayla's upstairs recording videos for her pupils at the moment. So hmm. she might pop in. Oh, brilliant. So um, the album, as you say, you've got a crowdfunder, crowdfunder going and you can uh, do that. You can contribute to that at sugalnifty.com and the address is on the, the, the screen. What can you get if you contribute to your crowdfund? Ah. Well, ah, uh -huh. um, <laughs> <laughs> you can get a, you can choose from between a number of anagrams of Shugal Nifty. Um, <laughs> and I'm trying to find there's there's an abundance of amazing things that you can uh, you can pledge for. How do you say it? Someone help me out here. Ailey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, think, very quiet. I think you can uh, if you if you pledge for a tasty leg. <laughs> <laughs> that one of them. <laughs> a tasty um, shiny leg. I think that was one of them. Uh, yeah, that means you I'm get. I'm just trying to find the anagrams here. You get a uh, uh, a date with you in or something. <laughs> I think one of the star prizes is being the executive producer of the yeah. album, and you'll get your name on the on the record and I think that's got some is it I can't has it got something to do with unicorns? No, no. One of, anyway. But you, one of the that's you, one of the Did you get to turn the fiddle down? Ones, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I think we all anything need to know you that. like. <laughs> well um we're going to watch a video that you guys have all come together uh, in this lockdown period. You're playing one of your tunes, you and Black Dog. It's a good fun video. That's Tell right. us about that. Well, Black Dog um, is a tune that came together when we were in India the last time and uh, we um, went out and decided we needed to find some whiskey and all that was available in the bottle shop was this stuff called Black Dog. Um, obviously everyone knows that's a well-known Speyside malt, um, but we'd no, no one had ever heard of it anyway and it's basically, it looks like whiskey and it sort of tastes a bit like whiskey but it did lots of weird things to us and we were sitting on a balcony at the time so that's that's where the tune originated on the balcony in Jodhpur, Rajasthan Well let's watch it
<laughs> well, we've done some researching and we now know what the rewards are. So, James, okay. tell us what they are. <laughs> so, for, for 10 of your Earth Pounds, you can have a you can have tiny hoof legs, which is a, a download of the album. For £15 pounds or more, you can have a holy nose gift, which is a printed booklet and a download. For, for 15 or more, you can also have a fleshy goo tin, which is an advanced copy of Acid Croft Volume 9, including the CD. 30 quid or more is Go Only Fetish. That's a T-shirt and a CD. Uh, for 50 quid or more, you go sh- Shy Goon Flight. <laughs> which is an album, a uh, T-shirt, and uh, it's signed. But when you go way up, the, way up the scale to 150 quid or more, you get a shiny leg foot, which is an exact, it's the album, all this stuff. You get a lesson from Kayla, myself, Gary, or Kui in bass, drums, or whatever you fancy. <laughs> and then if you go right to the top of the pile and you're really loaded, and we love rich people, <laughs> <laughs> For fifteen hundred pounds or more, you get tinges of holy, which is a signed CD, a T-shirt, a print of the album artwork, a limited edition picture disc, a vinyl, a back catalogue of everything, and a, an executive producer credit. Ooh! <laughs> so, if anyone's got a spare fifteen hundred, come on in. How yeah. much lesson with you and really? <laughs> Oh, that's, that's 10 quid. Uh, well, <laughs> off scale, off scale. That's a free download. <laughs> no quite that. <laughs> oh. Anyway, moving on. Moving on, that's great. And there's lots of stuff. And for anyone that uh, remembers all of them as well, actually, they probably get a download for that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's a generation game. Yeah. <laughs> So, I just wanted to go back to the early days of Sugar Nifty, James. I think it was 1990 the band started. Uh, uh, if you say so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right about then. I mean, they, yeah. um, we're absolutely amazing days because I know that, well, me and Ailey were hanging out in Edinburgh in these days and we had a lot of amazing times coming to see Sugar Nifty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Down in the Belle on Gel. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that, Ailey? A few near-death experiences. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we'd leave the Tron and we'd go down to the Bell and Gel for the next gig starting. It was was totally amazing times. Yeah, there was the Tron sessions and there was the Bell and Gel and then there was, what was the one down the road where the lock-in started at two in the morning? Legend. 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 Yeah, it was Big Stevie. Yeah. Uh, because we played in Legends 2 upstairs. We'd hump the PA up the back stairs every Wednesday and have a, a session there. Yeah, great times. We were all we were there. I don't think we missed many of these gigs at all. It's fabulous times. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and then the, the first album, now I always get them mixed up. Was Venus and Tweed the first album? Yeah. And then yeah. Uh, and you, you basically went from nowhere to... To global chopping the to topping the the charts in Australia, doing absolutely fabulous. Did we? I, don't, I have no idea. We've got the charts in Australia, <laughs> but yeah, no, we, we very we very quickly. Once Womad put a track out on their compilation, things went a bit bonkers, and we immediately started, you know, being invited to all sorts of fantastic festivals all over the shop. So. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty, yeah, great times. And, uh, yeah, lots more of that. Uh-oh, someone oh. calling. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, Venus Venus is still with us. I think that's her in the cover of the new album as well. So. Is that mm. right? It's always yeah. a link. It's a link. Mm. Queen, what were you doing? Yeah, in she's ni- been hanging out. What were you doing in 1990, Queen? Oh, well, I did see some of these gigs that we're talking about, but um, let's think. We're, James and I were playing in we a band, in a band called Mouth Music. That. Yeah, we were yeah. playing in a band called Mouth Music then. Um, <clears throat> and uh, and just kind of, which was kind of slightly slightly different uh, because it had a, a sort of bit of Gaelic song in it. And it had uh, Andy Thorburn in it too. Which and Andy like Thorburn, yeah. which makes everything different. <laughs> Well, I remember that too, because me and Ailey were at these gigs as well. 
<laughs> we were quite the social. <laughs> I retired. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to keep that. And uh, you and I remember you, you telling me that you were quite a, you you were very influenced by the the these Sugar Nifty records. Oh, I was a massive fan. Yeah, hands up. Yeah, I like whenever the first record came out, I loved it. Yeah, I think I saw the band first playing on a little known Welsh TV program uh, in the early nineties sometime. <laughs> And, what was that uh, live? I thought it was cool. It was, was that- live, it was black and white. I remember it distinctly <laughs> the moment. And uh, I just uh, I just put some more coal into the TV and drank it up. And, and then it, there you were, it was great. And then I, I think I saw you in Chester the first time. Ch- Telford's Warehouse and loved it. And that was oh, me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Telford's Warehouse, uh, yep. And look, Ailey, there's a wee comment from Heather McFarlane, who was usually with us too. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Ah, that's exactly what I was thinking about when I said the near-death experiences. <laughs> <laughs> a speaker that fell almost on her head in the bell and Jill. <laughs> well, I've yeah. actually I found a, a very early video of the band. It's, uh, it's not the first line-up, it was with Luke Plum. And uh, it's, uh, in the Spiegel tent, it just totally reminds me of when oh, we yeah. used to, when Ailey and I, we were in Canada with Keep It Up With You and you had the all audiences on your on their feet, breaking all the rules and mm-hmm. it was amazing times. And, it was uh, an amazing tour, that, yeah. It was yeah. an amazing tour. I watched you selling hundreds and hundreds of CDs and us selling not so many. <laughs> 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 but let's watch the clip. Uh, possibly that these that's more hazy <laughs> so let's watch the video <laughs> great times great times <laughs> So, I mean, uh, just looking back, your founder member, Angus Grant, you lo- we lost him uh, in 2016. He, he was uh, some guy. <laughs> I was just, he certainly was. I was watching videos of him playing when I was researching this programme and I, he, he glided across that stage. It was absolutely amazing to watch. Yeah, absolutely. He, he had some moves. I think he... Um, he yeah, he, got a, he had a few moves... I, I think uh, it was a mixture of Nick Cave and Tina Turner, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I found this really great old picture from our live album the other day. I thought I'd share it. It's a still from the cover of... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's I mean, from Radical you know, Mestizo, yeah. Really great. And uh, yeah, just kind of really charismatic. And a lot of people have talked about how, you know, he, he turned them on to... to Fiddles being very cool, rather than just cool. Um, yeah, he was quite a guy, wasn't he? Yeah. And sort of missed. And obviously, Ailey has uh, stepped into these uh, very big shoes. But actually, if anyone was to do it, it could only be Ailey. And uh, a fantastic <laughs> addition to the band. <laughs> I wouldn't have recommended anyone to step into Angus's shoes. They were always quite uniquely smelly. Ailey has brought her own shoes. uh, Yeah, she's brought her own shoes. That's fantastic shoes, yeah. And they're usually shiny too. (laughs) Yeah. Well, before we uh, stop this segment, we are going to watch a video of um, you playing with the Galithian Trio Am I saying this right? Tangueris? Tangueris. And, it, and it's great. So uh, it's a great song and the harmonies are absolutely fantastic. Was this 2018 you made this? Uh, yes, I think so. Aye. It was in our kind of watershed period uh, before we had the good sense to ask Ailey to join the band. And... Uh, we went out to Galicia because Vitor, who may be watching at the moment, Vitor had, I didn't know this at the time, but Vitor had made a promise to Angus that we would play back in the Cantana in Santiago. Uh, you know, Angus had taken him aside a few years ago and said, 
it would be lovely to play in the Cantana again. We played there years ago. Many tales attached to that trip. We missed our flight for one, but um, we got there eventually. Um, but so Vitor, this was Vitor uh, being true to his word, and he invited us out to play. So we we spent about a week and recorded this track with the girls in a really cool studio just outside Santiago de Compostela. Right, well, let's watch yeah, it. Trip. Cool. Fantastic. And that was East West, recorded in 2017, released in January 2019. Thank you, Sugar Nifty Scotland. Um, no, just want to <laughs> just say a few uh, shout outs to folk that are watching. Hi to Vitor from El right. Berzo, Northwest Spain. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Philip McHenry, uh, Vincent Carlin. Carolyn from uh, Cool Cloudy and Damp Lead High Gale, uh, Odd High Linda from Australia, uh, yeah. Marcia from Houston, Texas, and there's Greg Ooh. from the Bowling Green, Ohio. Is that a name of a place? Hey, Greg. Hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. <laughs> uh, Liz Robertson, hello. And Babette Itabab hello. says, These cakes are tall. Love the live <laughs> transcribing. <laughs> Uh, leave a wife, he says. <laughs> Heather McFarlane, <laughs> yes, great to see you, Heather. Just love to see you again soon. And Chris from Irvine. Anyway, um, next up we have the the also legendary Poozies. Hi guys. Yay. 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 <laughs> Please welcome uh, Mary, McMaster, Mary McMaster on harp and fiddler Sarah McFadden and Ailey Shaw. <laughs> Already with their buzzers. <laughs> <laughs> now the quiz is not, we have to wait for a little bit for the quiz. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Now, there's one member of the band missing today. Who is that? She's recently become a mum. Has what? she? She got a dog. <laughs> That's a complete she... lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, she got a dog. She got a <laughs> Right, yes, ah, well, happy yeah. dog's mother day. She's <laughs> <laughs> busy. <laughs> so your last <laughs> album Happy Bitches Day though <laughs> Your last album Punch was released in 2018 now, It's a great album but it's actually quite different to other Pussy albums Would you agree Mary? Oh absolutely I, I totally agree with that yes <laughs> Why what, did you have did you try did you go about it in a different way? Well, we had a different lineup. We we had uh, we got Sarah McFadden, the magnificent Sarah McFadden, and the extraordinary Tia Files to join me and Ailey, um, as opposed to the lineup we had before, which was a bit different. 
And um, we worked really hard for a year on getting a completely new set together. And then we launched it on the unsuspecting public. <laughs> and uh, Sarah, you've obviously, you're a, an artist. You've got a, a fantastic art background. And when you see your videos from the band, I think your influence is massive. Do you think, do you bring your art to your music? Well, I suppose it's all the same thing, really, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, in this, we're going to watch a clip of, um, what's it called? Fresh Blood. Is that right? Yes. Our book against fascism number. <laughs> and um, it's a, well, it's kind of mental video with all the costumes. How did that, how did, who came up with the idea for that? It was a kind of collective um, effort, I think. We think it's quite normal. Because <laughs> <laughs> in the, the video, in the clip we're going to watch, I don't think Mary or Ailey is in it. It's all... Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, your clip. I think you'll find that we are. You just don't recognise us. <laughs> 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 right, just before before we watch it, ex explain to us what the story of this video is, Ailey. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the story of the video is? Oh, I think it's quite self-explanatory, isn't it? Uh, just don't be a dick. Be nice to see you guys. <laughs> Well, I, I couldn't have set it up better myself. <laughs> Let's watch it. We were getting on the ferry boat In my mama's car When we passed by a stranger man He was out of place by far Then my granny leaned on the back of the seat and whispered in my ear That man comes from a different island His tongue is different, his eyes are different Never seen the likes of him He could be that one for you, my dear We're needing some new fresh blood wrong He's pretty queer, he'd have a hard time By the noon here, what would he work and what would he do? When he came, what to do we a coup? And think on that damn that would come for us We had funny skin and a strangely pass That man comes from a different island His tongue is different, his eyes are different Never seen the likes of him one for you, my dear We're needing some new fresh blood round here Fresh blood, fresh blood We're needing some new fresh blood round here <laughs> Fantastic! There's quite a lot of hilarity in the green room, I think <laughs> Is that what you call it? <laughs> the green Skype room <laughs> But so I'm so excited to see other people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, the band uh, you you've been doing a lot of work. You know, obviously, there's not a lot going on at the moment, actually. But do you know what's uh, is there anything you've had? Has it been rescheduled to 2021? Yeah, lots of stuff actually. Pretty much all of it, I think. We're we're supposed to go to Denmark today. That's been put off till next year, and uh, there was Hungary and Poland was meant to be happening, and yeah, uh, Shetland Folk Festival. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything so far has been moved forward a year, so hopefully, well, you never know, but hopefully that'll happen. Oh, well, that's fantastic. And have you got, so 2018 for the last album, is there plans for another one? Yes, yeah, of course. 
<laughs> Always plans. Just need someone to give us lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, let's have a crowd fund with lots of different ideas. Lots of the anagrams. Best Fuzi anagrams. <laughs> um, I just wanted to go back a little bit, Mary, to the start of the Poozies, uh, because mm-hmm. I, I remember uh, it was at Shetland Folk Festival in 1991 where the, the Poozies were... <laughs> They were all there, actually. And we were. So who was in that lineup? Well, that was uh, myself and Patsy Seddon on the harps. We had Karen Tweed on accordion, Sally Barker on guitar, and we had Jenny Gardner on the fiddle. That's that right. That was cool. And it was actually a great thing to do that because it was Shetland Folk Festival on the telly. Yeah, it was amazing for our career. We, we kind of just took off because people had seen it all over Europe. So, yeah, it was really good for us. And, I mean, the two, the Pooties as well, as I remember, was they were, you were off very, very busy, but at the same time, you were brilliant at marketing. You really? Had, <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I, Simon, I think that's just because we were all women and it was really unusual and people were kind of, it was a bit different, so... Yeah, no, I don't mean like, that, actually. I mean more the fact that you were really great at going out and getting the gigs. You were one of the first bands I heard to talk about using mailing lists in order to oh, talk yeah, that, to promoters yeah. and uh, great with the old merchandise as well. It, it was... Um, it was it was really... You were really ahead of your time. <laughs> I have to say that was mostly Karen Tweed. She was very good at those kind of things. <laughs> she still is, actually. <laughs> She's like, been doing Skype sessions on from where she lives now, which is in Orkney. She's been doing little slow and fast sessions. Yeah, well, Karen internet. is ever busy as ever. Mm, <laughs> she is. Well, let's have a quick look at that early lineup from the original Shetland Sessions TV programme. There you go. I'll unmute myself. You can see it there, is it, Mary? Oh, fantastic. Great. Oops. I can't be a bit alive. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, you know, I was going to say that we've uh, we've talked about uh, legends in this programme, but I suppose that I think one of their biggest legends is actually Mary. <laughs> and um, you've you've done so much over the years, Mary. You've been an inspiration to so many people. Um, it's amazing what you've done, actually. Well, that's because I'm very old, and there's been a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got a great video here of you and Patsy Seddon being inducted into the Scottish Digital Music Hall of Fame in 2013. And Karina Hewitt says the most lovely things about you. <laughs> yeah, shit, that was very expensive. <laughs> yeah. Now remember, after she promised to, to shed a few tears after this, so if you could get prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Mary and Patsy are always full of humour, loads of laughs, but also they incorporate a great respect of the Scottish tradition. So it's that balance of humour and tradition, which I think the audiences love the most. They had a review where the harps were actually louder than everything else on the stage. And that was in the review that no one had ever heard harps that loud and that powerful 
So that was something that they were doing and no one else was. Nothing is out of bounds to Sheilas. They will borrow from all traditions, but they also work hard to maintain the Gaelic tradition and keep the tunes and songs strong. So Mary, where, where did you start playing the harp? <laughs> <laughs> well, I started playing in public in Sandy Bells. I used to take my harp into the session. I suppose I'd been playing for a few years secretly in my house before that. And then I used to go to sessions at Sandy Bells uh, ooh, with, uh, gosh, Norman Chalmers and Jim Sutherland and lots of other people that were there then. And you play a, a wire-strung harp, which is probably not so common nowadays. Why did you pick that instrument? <laughs> because it was the cheapest one for sale. <laughs> um, I didn't realise that, that it was so different until it arrived at my house. And then I had to grow my nails, which was good because they stopped me biting them. And it sounds amazing. It sounds like bells. And I, I really love it. But I also play much more these days the electro harp, which is a phenomenal instrument and was the reason why Patsy and I were so loud, because we were both playing electro harps and just turn them up and it's easy. <laughs> the fantastic Kamak electro harp, it was a brilliant design by Joel Garnier from Kamak in Brittany. So that's been my main instrument for ages now. And is it lighter? Well, it is now. The, the original one was really heavy but they started making them in carbon fibre, so I can pick it up with one finger just about. It's mm -hmm. amazing. And where did you meet Patsy Seddon? Oh, um, actually, I met her first in Dunfermline College, a, a Heart Fest, no, a, a Clarsack Society summer school when I was 21 and she was 16. And uh, she was really good and I was just starting, so I noticed her. And then a few years later, we ended up in the same course at university doing Gaelic in uh, Edinburgh University and uh, that was that. All right I was also watching a, a video of you last night that Patsy put up it's worth checking out of uh, the Clan Alba. I'd never actually oh, seen the band live and I never even knew there was <laughs> videos of it. All right yeah there's some quite interesting ones is that from the mod in, in Open? I was it? It was a big it's stage big somewhere. Yes. Dokken, Brian McNeil, Mike yeah. Travis, Davy Tullough, me and Patsy, Davy Steele. Gary West. And Gary West. It was a good band, that. It was good fun. Gary was sporting a, a nice hat in it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very trendy. Very sort of 90s, actually. <laughs> well, it was. It was like 92 or 93, so quite a while ago. Well, I've got a, a track um, that we're just going to play, an audio track, not a video. Um, Plenty Crockery by Patsy Seddon. No, Planksty Crockery. Oh, Planksty. So, oh, yes. That spell check for you. <laughs> <laughs> Where's, um, uh, what, <laughs> what album was that on? Oh, uh, I think I think it might be the Play On Light album. I'm not entirely sure. Yes, I could have looked Or maybe harder. the one before that. Well, let's I have a listen remember. to this uh, short audio clip. Guys, you're just talking over Mary and Patsy. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, you know, thanks very much, Mary. It's just great to quickly catch up on your amazingness. And uh, <laughs> the first person to cry on the Hands of a Tried Afternoon show. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not the last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Simon. <laughs> well, uh, 
Yeah, well, that's us all coming back together tonight. Now, and I'm going to introduce Alana McInnes. Yay! And Alana, <laughs> Alana is the hands up for trad quiz master, and we have a theme tune. Let's hear it. Take it away, Alana. Thanks very much, Simon. I hope you've all been up revising coming up to this quiz today, have you? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so here, let's hear your let's hear your buzzers to start off with. Mary, what have you got for us? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> That's the loudest thing ever. <laughs> I could I could do over here. That's even louder. <laughs> Let's hear yours, Ailey. What did you find? I've got a swanee. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Which team are you joining today? Are you on Team Pussies or Team Shugle Nifty? I think whatever I want. <laughs> it's all individuals today. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got, Sarah? Oh, I got one of these. Ooh, castanets. <laughs> Very cool. You've got to make that face, though, whenever you do it. (laughs) (laughs) Let's hear your buzzer, Ewan. What have you got for us? Uh, I just found this little metal box, and it's it's quieter than I thought. (laughs) 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 It looks like it should make a sound, but it doesn't. (laughs) I've got a screwdriver. Let's hear it again. Is that better? That's better. (laughs) (laughs) That's better, yeah. Okay, I'll use that. Uh, can you let's hear what you've got? You, that looks pretty epic. Go! Oh. <laughs> we'll not miss you. Oh, <laughs> yes! Is that? Is that James? That's Queen. No, that was Queen. <laughs> James, last but very, by very means not least, let's hear your buzzer. I've got a selection, but I think I'll use this one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to miss one? <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll use, I'll use it. Okay. Whichever one takes your fancy. Oh, okay, good. It'll, it'll depend on how confident you are in your answer, will it? Aye, aye. Okay, that's good. Good thinking, Alan. Good thinking. <laughs> right, let's get started. So, fingers on your buzzers or your pots and your pans and your all of the stuff that you've got. <laughs> so, question one. How many times have Fort William won the Kamenach Cup? <laughs> Ailey Shaw? No, no times. Oh, that's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> Any other ideas? James? No. Nope. No. No, more than that? More than that. Sarah? Five. Five. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Oh, not quite. <laughs> Just get to the answer. <laughs> 120 times. <laughs> no, I'll give you one, one million. million. Eight, eight, nine, ten. Six. That was six times. Wow. And I think actually maybe James, you've already answered this, but for a bonus question, who was their captain? In 2005 and 2006. Oh. Oh, you have a question? Oh. Gary Innes. Gary Innes. Hey. <laughs> well, but we'll give that to two people lefty. Because I don't want you to fight amongst yourselves. <laughs> so, on to our second question. Where did the 1745 Jacobite Rebellion begin? Oh. Well, who had the bell? I can't remember who had the... Tracy to check out! Glen- the Queen! <laughs> that was Queen! No, that was Queen! Would that be at Glenfinnan? That is the right answer. Well done. Oh, well done, Queen. I thought this could be a oh, sucker. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's not finished yet. Yeah, it's not finished. It might be by the end of this quiz. I think it was probably a bit <laughs> further up towards towards Arsig, actually. First landed a bit further up. You know the railway bridge? You know the Cairn <laughs> railway bridge there? Or is he going to catch the train? And oh, moving on. 
Just <laughs> <laughs> that answer with their hands up for Tad Boss. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Question three. Which folk singer reached the final of The Voice? <laughs> Ely Shaw. Ali Barker. Yay. Yay. That's right answer. Her mentor on the programme was Tom Jones. Does anybody know what his real name is? Sarah? Tom Jones? No. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> Ailey? Thomas Jones? Uh, no. Wrong. <laughs> Not either. Mm, his no name idea. is Thomas John Woodward. Oh. <laughs> oh. Not quite as rock and roll as Tom Jones, eh? No, no. no. <laughs> Question four. What is the height of the old man of Hoy? Oh. Look at Fun Sarah! Well, you yeah, the person the left. left. You and the person just feeling the pressure. James, <laughs> I think that was you. No, no, I was just doing a drum roll, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone got any ideas? I'm going to go. Amy, go for it. 250 feet. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Wrong. Three. 325 feet. Nope. Wrong. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, James? 465 feet. That's much closer. Yay! Point to Shiggle Lefty. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> How much closer? The answer was 449 feet. Oh! Not, not too so, far off. Not bad, yeah. Bonus question, which Eurythmics video does the old man of Hoy appear in? <laughs> oh, God, say that! <laughs> <laughs> say that again. Here comes the rain again. Yay! Oh, wow. <laughs> That's <delicious. laughs> Now, this is the last question is about the math question, so get your fingers and your toes ready. How many people make up Sugar Nifty, the Poozies, Sheilas, Bonnie Prince Charlie, and Eurythmics? Bonnie Prince Charlie? <laughs> Bonnie Prince Charlie? Yep. <laughs> Ailey? 15. Nope. Sarah? 14. Seven. Nope. Sarah, what did you say? 17, is it? No. So, 11. 11. 11. 16. <laughs> 16. No. <laughs> 16. Oh, could, you, could you tell us who we all are? No, I certainly couldn't. I can't oh. even rem- remember the name of my own band. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, there's six member. No. Hold on. Seven, seven in Sugar Nifty, in four in the Poozies, yeah. two in Sheilas. Yeah. There's yeah. only one Bonnie Prince Charlie. And two in the Eurythmics. <laughs> I don't know, but there's like aliens. I bet you've counted me three times. Have yeah. you counted me twice? But we did ask bands. Uh, we didn't ask people. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, tricky. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> thanks, guys, for coming along and being on the... <laughs> Thanks for coming along to the Hands of a Tired Afternoon show today. It's been brilliant to have you here. Yeah, it's been great track. Thank you, Simon. Uh, We will be back on... Hold on, I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished yet. (laughs) (laughs) We will be back on Monday at 2pm with lots of guests, including Tim Eady. Always exciting. And... uh, who else? Oh, thanks to Creative Scotland for making this possible. Thanks to Alana for coming in at the last minute and doing a, being a quiz master. <laughs> and I'll see you later. See you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs>